Chris will help. Helpful. about the sun priest falling in love with the merchant's daughter. I have nothing for you, I'm afraid. Eh, I've seen better. Oh, that's nice. I prefer the one about the sun priest falling in love with a merchant's daughter. Oh, you're in for a treat. It's quite a show. I have nothing to trade. I love this pit. Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary, I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder, that's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend, 
May he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh yeah, chunks of corpses, gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said... No, that's just stupid. You've been using explosives? Sure! To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff, we do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were... torn apart, not blown up! What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry, where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. Feral machines everywhere. This is a twilight time indeed. I love this bit. Quite a show. This isn't up to their usual stand. Blaze. Enough for quite a blast. That's odd. What's this man doing here? Big one, aren't you?
quick way down. seen a machine like that whoa nor a hunter so bold take this it's from the quarry stores but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it may you walk in the light friend especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground this this isn't up to their usual standard this bit.
I'd have to ditch something. A pocket shit storm tour, day nine. I was setting up my tent right here when. Wyatt's call came through. I came as fast as I could, but you'd already slipped into a coma. We never got a chance to say goodbye. Easy, easy. I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to all, Karja. What happened to Ursa has nothing to do with us. Uh, no, I'm awake and alert. <laughs> Damn it. How long do we have to wait here? Oh, you're in for a treat. It's quite a show. Don't look Every me minute I'm stuck here is the guard. Don't get involved in politics. What's going on here? Poland's in there, somewhere. And so's Aaron, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. It's always the merchants who suffer. City's locked down on account of the murder. Good luck getting through, Outlander. Well met. Halt! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Karja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were... Dead. Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. The drink's on me! We need to talk, alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. 
I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. And now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh, I lost someone, too, at the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. Why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier? Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. And some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Olin. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. Is she a Nora? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. Vengeance for Ursa! How long will Ahmad hide in his palace? To lay siege to the citadel! Blood for blood! Vengeance for Ursa! How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself! Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass! What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <clears throat> oh, that was... Subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. That other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court.
corner of this rug is frayed, and the floor near it is worn. underneath hey how did that get here question is how to get through it without a key you won't that's a vault hatch of Azaram make nothing gets through we'll see about that call it a day girl Looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted.
The map. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me in the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin. Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. And within lived the greatest of all people. This place smells like nothing hmm. I've ever smelled before. You're an outlander. Nora from the look kind of you. Of spice? I'll bet you're a machine hunter, too. I've hunted my share. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the hunter's lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. What's wrong with the hunting lodge exactly? Nothing, if you like stuck up bigots. I'm known as a skilled hunter back home in Banur, so I thought I'd try my luck at the lodge. I thought it'd be simple. Hunt machines, gain ranks, see who's best. But it doesn't work like that at all. It's all rigged to keep the carja at the head of the line. <laughs> I don't need those snobs to tell me I can hunt. I'm going home. Are you saying that you have to be carja to join the lodge? No, they take other tribes. But they have rules in place to keep outlanders from gaining ranks. When Sun King Avad took over, he promised the new day, Meridian, open to all. But it's a sham. 
Sure, you can get a seat at the feast, but you just can't eat the food. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the lodge. Maybe, but it isn't gonna be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuk farewell mark in my honor. A Banuk farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. The Sundom has changed, but this work hasn't. Watch out for the Asaram merchants. Adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant a, a well-molded woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. Shh. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> You're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> They choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. 
If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. <clears throat> the east. <laughs> if it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sunring? Oh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well... I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles, and while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawks perched there, drawn to the spires shining. So, clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. 
I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried, in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Can you spare a moment? Someone robbed my house. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary.
Drops of blood leading away. The tribes his father butchered. A miracle of the sun. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Still on the trail. Captain Ursa thought herself impervious to attack. Still more blood. The thief got cut. The trail ends here. But someone must have seen the thief. Here's a breath of air from the bellows. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. A miracle of the sun. Bright day. Feeling ambitious. King of God is weak. He speaks of peace. Are we really going to take the wound? If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. Someone must the have seen him go by. It's women and savages now. Does tradition mean nothing anymore? Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched My the sword. Friends, but some <sighs> but where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop off. That must be the spire. It's huge. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay, guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on.
We all have our place in the order of things. Be out there fighting machines, not pacing Only the finest here. goods here. See for yourself. Cost you a shard just to look. You'll like what I have for Only sale. Only the finest goods here. Stock up before you're on the road. I tell you, Oscar, I'm no metal pot here. Good prices, fair prices. City safe. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them, of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there, but be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy, but it's decent work keeping the city safe. 